You know, every time I go to the movies, my snack of choice isn't popcorn, but movie nachos. The crispy chip, the yummy cheese with the hint of jalapeno. I mean, sure, it's all fake flavors made in some sort of corporate lab, but still, good times. But I can make the good times gooder by making my own queso jalapeno dip, but better. And yeah, I know Dante Weissman already has a butt better segment, but eh, my butt better segment is better than his butt better segment. Now then, let's take care of the jalapeno portion of our jalapeno dip. Now for this, you'll need, duh, jalapenos. Now, you could chop these up and toss them in the queso, but, but I don't know, it kind of ruins the mouthfeel. So, we're gonna roast these, then puree them. And while there are certain ways you can roast a jalapeno, the best way to do it is with a gas stove. So, let's turn on the flames. And place our jalapenos directly on top of the burner. Don't worry, that popping is totally normal. Basically, we're cooking the jalapeno while also charring the skin off. So don't worry, I'm not burning the jalapeno, I'm just charring the skin. Okay, once they're, uh... Fully charred, place them in a bowl, cover in saran wrap, and let it steam in its own hotness for five to ten minutes. Nacho, nacho man. I want to be a nacho man. All right, it's been 10 minutes. Our jalapenos are done steeping. All right, next we gotta de-stem, de-skin, and de-seed these. So, oh, by the way, rubber gloves are recommended. Capsaicin doesn't F around. Peel off the charred off skin. Get off as many seeds as you can. And uh, place these on a separate plate. Okay, with our jalapenos de-seeded and you just saw what happened, you know what these jalapenos look like. It's time to puree them. So let's paste them in a mini chopper and try our best to liquefy these. Scrape down the bowl a few times, that's fine. Okay, our jalapenos is nice and liquefied as it's gonna get. Let's transfer it to a bowl. Okay, to the stove. Now we can make the cheese sauce. Now here's where I break off of most recipes. You see, instead of making a bechamel sauce, which is basically a milk sauce thickened with roux, I'm going to be using beer and a cornstarch slurry. A cornstarch slurry because once thickened, I think it comes pretty close in texture to the mass-produced fake cheese they have at movie theaters. And beer because Fuck you I can. Uh, speaking of beer, to a medium-sized sauce pot, let's add two cups of beer. Oh no, I bought too much beer. What am I gonna do with the leftover? Then let's add our cornstarch thickener. I just basically took one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch and mixed it with um, two tablespoons of water. All right, bring this to a boil and thicken it over high heat. All right, it's thickened up, but uh, it's not the consistency I'm looking for. Okay, once it's looking kind of syrupy, drop the heat down to low. Sure, it's not that thick, but it'll thicken up once we add our cheese. Speaking of which, let's add two and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Now we want a nice smooth sauce. So add our cheese one handful at a time. Okay, once the batch has fully dissolved into the beer, Let's add the next batch. Okay, once the whisk starts making trails, let's check to see if it needs anything. 
No, 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 no. That needs more keys. All right, it's good. It just needs about mm, one teaspoon of salt. Then let's add all five pureed jalapenos to our bowl. All right, our cheese is good. Now let's pour it into a bowl. Top it off with some diced tomatoes. And green onions. Dip it, take a chip, dip it in our sauce. I'm not even joking, that is like legit one of the best things I've ever made. All right, with the chips and cheese ready to go, I'm ready to begin movie night. Hey, Netflix and HBO have been canceling all the great shows. This is all that I have left. This has been Chase Cooking Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. You know, this is my third or fourth time attempting a beer and cheese recipe. Can you please make it successful this time, YouTube?